Hello everyone. Good morning. Today is Sunday at 8:51 a.m. almost 9 a.m. So I am going to be working today. I will show you the other house that I'm doing. It's right beside the lake. It's a very nice location and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So this is a bungalow house. This is the main floor with the cathedral ceiling. No attic or anything. And there's a lower level. So the area below this is, they don't want to call it a basement, but they want to call it lower level. I don't know what's the difference, but uh, it's a nice house for sure. So this is actually my second house right beside the lake. First house I did was last year. It is in Tobermory. And this is in Burlington. It is along Lakeshore. I'm very excited to do this house. Uh, it will be added on my portfolio for sure so what I did uh, with this house I start from uh, from scratch as well so after the taper is done uh, taping and you know mudding sanding in the walls I came in and uh, prime everything so right now all the walls have been primed and the ceiling has been finished as well so yeah as you can see I already did the uh, cut in on the between the ceiling and the walls so this bulkhead is going to be a wall color same as under the bulkhead and the post this uh, bulkhead and post as well this bulkhead and post and this bulkhead this uh, metal post uh, right now it's just going to be uh, black so this was gray color and uh, I think it was just prime so yesterday I re reprime and painted everything with black and the bottom part is going to be trimmed out with by the trimmer same as the top part and uh, for this window this uh, is uh, pre-finished this one I'm gonna paint black so last night I started painting uh, one of the window casing on the basement not one but uh, I think four on the five window casing and two doors three doors and the uh, lower level and uh, yeah so I already spent 12 days on this house and uh, I think I'm gonna be spending 15 more days hopefully that's a maximum if it extends beyond 15 days i'm gonna be losing uh money on here because i didn't quote much for this house i wanted i really wanted to get this project so i make sure i gave a really reasonable price and uh, the owner was really kind so they accepted my offer and yeah i'm doing this job so for today's uh, job i'll be uh, putting in one coat on the baseboard so all the baseboard is in there and i need to paint them here and yeah lay down everything like that and then probably on that side too let it dry and then stack them up all together on those corners because tomorrow 
the kitchen are going to be delivered and it's going to be in that place yeah so let's go down to the basement the stairs is gonna be done by another company so it's already there the thread is already there so once i think they're waiting for me to do the walls and then they're gonna come in and and put in the stair threads just so it doesn't get messed up so this is the lower level yeah, so the trim guy came in here uh, two days ago and he started trimming oh this is the a finished uh, window I don't know if you guys like this but I am liking this a black window <laughs> black window casing so it's gonna be the same here and here I would say it's a little bit too much but for some but for me uh, I like doing uh, something that is against what uh, other people are doing like everybody wants uh, white trim white casings white doors for this house only the only white trim is the baseboard it's going to be oxford white so the window and the door casing are going to be black same as the doors and the wall color is classic gray if anybody of you wants to know what color is this so this window casing is also done i may have to do one more coat on this casing i will see later but my priority for today is that uh, baseboard i need to put one coat because they're using mdf uh, wood and the first coat on those wood is really hard to uh, to put in if I'm gonna be using brush and mineral roller so I'd rather put one coat now before they installed it and then after that I'm just going to fill the nail holes do caulking and then do one more coat and that's it yeah so I stayed up pretty late last night until 7 o'clock I think yeah I need to touch this up So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do one more coat on this casings today before I leave. So this has not been sprayed. I only use mini roller and a brush. Oh, I need to touch those up. See that? See, it's this one. Anyway, it happens. I would say it's looking very good. I don't know if anybody can see that. So those are what I'm saying. If you didn't do a one coat of finish on this MDF and you brush this, you're going to see those brush marks. But uh, it is what it is, they already installed it before I came in. So today I will be painting the trim, I mean the baseboard one coat. And then tomorrow I'm going to finish the walls in here. Even though there's no window casings yet, I mean door casings and the doors. I Usually I prefer when everything is uh, installed and then I do the trim. As you can see right now, the cut line is not that straight. And then when I finish the wall, I'm gonna do uh, my straight cut line. But I find that this uh, trim, since it's black, is uh, tape the bottom part. So might as well, I will tape this uh, wall as well. So yeah, I will finish the walls. And then when they install the, the casings over here, I put the tape and then put my caulking and then I don't have to do my brush mark. The only thing that's going to be sprayed 
on this house are the doors so once the trim guy is finished installing everything so i'm going to take them out just like what i did here it's already installed and then i'm gonna set them up probably on this room or on the other bedroom and then lay them against the wall and then i will spray it but prior to that i need to cover the ceilings and the walls with plastic just so the walls doesn't get uh, black paint on them because i will be using a black paint for the doors as well let's see how will it turn out lots of work for one guy <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. I'm planning to tape all the corners just like what I did here. As you can see, there's a green tape around the window just so uh, what I do, I brush the corner once and then I just rolled it. The first coat and the second coat is also uh, with the mini roller just so you eliminate the brush marks. So yeah, later today, I will try to do a video on those uh, baseboard. Thank you everyone for watching and, you know, uh, keeping your support on our channel. able to do 20 pieces of this uh, baseboard since uh, what time I started 9 30 so one and a half hour so now I have 16 more left to go and then uh, I will do one more coat on the trim or the window and the door casing on the basement then that's it for today thank you everyone for watching